Hi, this is writer and games designer Robin D. Laws for Palgrain Video. Uh, now, uh, my uh, boon colleague, uh, Gareth Ryder Hanrahan, has uh, thrown down, uh, shall we say, a bit of a gauntlet, and uh, this will enable me to uh, use uh, for this video series a segment that I proposed for my podcast with Kenneth Height. Uh, Ken and Robin talked about stuff. Originally, I thought I would uh, have a podcast segment entitled and that's where you're wrong. But uh, Ken thought that was somewhat harsh, so I haven't really had opportunity to use it until now, but uh, Gar has uh, uh, leveled this unprovoked assault on uh, one of the, the key investigative abilities in uh, the Esoterrorist's uh, forensic entomology. And like a seasoned debater, uh, Gar actually lays out all of the best arguments for forensic entomology in order to then dismiss them. So uh, here, people, uh, you will recall, here is why forensic entomology is cool. Does having that ability on your card sheet tell you something about the game? And there's absolutely no question that forensic entomology is evocative. It instantly tells you this is a game about scientific investigation, about looking at bodies. It's got that wonderful whole uh, Millennium or X Files vibe where you're like, you know, doing autopsies and corpses and going, my God, but Scully, like, you know, or, my God, but even this insect is only found in the like, you know, Amazon River Delta. How did it end up on this Antarctic research base? Um, so, for instance, and also, like, you know, insects are wonderfully creepy for just wait for a horror game. So it's evocative. So there you have it. Yes, it is very evocative. And in fact, uh, forensic entomology is, uh, tells you so much about the esoterics. It's sort of a, a signal tone. It's, this is, we've entered this Thomas Harris Millennium X-Files territory. And the mere fact that the uh, ability exists, let alone whether anybody ever actually uses it, uh, tells you everything you need to know about the esoteric, about the property, and specifically about the character who takes that ability. And then, you know, later on, Gar does rather slate the actual real people who practice uh, this uh, scientific uh, discipline, which uh, seems a little harsh for reasons which we are about to discover. Um, but forensic entomology, it's like a Rolex. It's not whether it's useful, but it's, it's what it says about uh, the user. Um, and uh, Gar has uh, objects to the challenge involved in making sure that forensic entomology comes up in scenarios. And yeah, sure, sometimes you'll be writing a scenario and you'll be typing away about ringworm, thinking this is an excellent opportunity to use forensic entomology, and then you'll research ringworm a little more and discover that it's not actually, despite the name, uh, caused by uh, insects of any kind. Uh, nonetheless, uh, we persevere, and more importantly, it's up to the player who has forensic entomology to whenever they encounter a corpse or other uh, bug-infested situation to ask whether they can use forensic entomology and whether they find anything useful or not. It's the asking that counts. It tells you what sort of a creepy, awful world the esoterrorists and uh, more importantly, the player character enemies, the Ordo Veritatis, are uh, operating within. So I have to ask myself, why would Gar uh, launch this attack? And uh, sadly, uh, the only conclusion one can come to is that uh, Gar has uh, been uh, harvested himself by a parasitic wasp. Uh, now, uh, I have to say that the wasp seems uh, of generally exemplary character. Uh, the, the wasp is a, a fine husband and father. Uh, he's a boon companion, uh, a delightful dinner uh, companion, and uh, as a creator, he has a vivid imagination for uh, bizarre detail. Uh, although one might note that it is Gar, or Gar's parasitic wasp, that introduced the entire concept of mental parasitism into our play-by-clip series, so there's a little cue there. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, and also the parasitic wasp is extremely diligent. You know, when, when you ask the parasitic wasp to turn around revisions in 30 days, you get them the next day. This is, Gar is infested by a go-getter of a wasp. So 
now that I think about it a bit more, perhaps it is against my self-interest to actually bust the wasp on this. Because except for hating forensic entomology, the, like the, the wasp has many fine qualities. So, and I guess I, I won't say anything after all, but uh, this has been uh, Robin D. Laws for Pell Green Video.